Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Phil Joyce. Today is May 16, 2013. That young man right there shining is Hoopty. But I had to find out that he was the young man because down the street down there, this younger fella told me, go down the street, you'll see my pop shining my car for me because um, I'll be pulling 25 years. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? I, I could be old enough to be your dad because, you know, I'm kind of old man myself. He don't look it, I don't look it. But, um... That will get me a 25 year old. So we started talking. No, that was the joke I pulled on him. Then I told him about how I'm playing this black slaver that's going to teach black elected officials. I'm going to put them back into slavery by having a white man put them in irons and then put them behind bars. And I said, you know how many people I'm taking off with that? He said, I know. You're taking off a lot. <laughs> I got you guys. That's because I'm out of six million bucks. I'm disenchanted with being black in America with a black president that didn't say all my people are free. That's all he had to do. Like five seconds. Now, three seconds. That's all he had to say. That would have made me feel better. But I'm out of six million bucks. They put me back in the ghetto. They put me back into slavery. And I'm the disalignment of Earl Zetazini. Because when Henry Christophe was captured and then killed, and disalignment heard that, you know what he said? Cooper Ted Fullercock cut all their heads off and burned their damn houses down. Well, 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 this is the Wage Slave Rebellion, and I'm happy that you just met the guy that's doing it. <laughs> Woo! And I did get something out of uh, Mr. Vaughn Miller and Derek, which was the ink that's going to write this book was created out of my tears and my sorrows. All right? See, with a nice car like that. A nice little apartment, a building like this. If I owned it, it'd be great. But if I had an apartment, and y'all didn't do what y'all did to me, destroy me, I probably wouldn't have been this pissed off at America. And especially black folk. Alright? So, it's war! Bye-bye!